Hey guys, this is the Fishing Creek Outdoors. Today I'm going to be doing a video on some squirrel trapping equipment. This is just like a little video that I wanted to put together that's kind of not really serious, but you know, I just thought I would do it. So, get yourself some Victor 50s, 110s, Bridger or Duke. I like Bridger better. Bridger 150s. Those are the best kind of bear squirrel traps. I love Bridger 150s. Victor 50s are they can catch chipmunks, flying squirrels, red squirrels, fox squirrels, gray squirrels, anything. 150s are good for fox squirrels. 110s are like the best gray squirrel. You can catch anything in a 110 though. Uh, peanut butter's great bait. Conover boxes if you really want to. I don't, but there, that's a mink box that I use, and there's just a 110 in there. Put your bait in the back. Peanut butter. I got a I have a big bag of peanuts and there's some bird seed in there. A big bag of bird seed will do you good. Uh, I love number zero for number zeros for squirrels. Duke number zeros and Duke number uh one long springs and I have what number one Duke coil springs but they're set right now and I have an, I have some more number zeros set. Uh, Victor rat traps are good but don't get the ones with these pans. Just don't. Get the ones with, like, a regular mouse trap. Don't get the ones with the pants. They're super sensitive, and they're just a pain in the butt to mess with. Um, and if they're not illegal in your, if, if you don't have to take a class from in your state, snares are okay. Um, but yeah, that's about it for, uh, squirrel trapping equipment. If you really need them, Conover setters, I don't need them. I can set every one of these traps here with my hands. So, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, this is Fishing Creek Outdoors, and this is Squirrel Trapping.